Hello, this is Erin with the Joy in Pens and Paper, and I'm going to do a flip through of January in my memory keeping and journaling Hobonichi home. So starting from the beginning, I am using currently the um, Calendex Index six month at a glance uh, and I am writing down the workout that I do each day. Um, so it is currently February 3rd. I have to look at my Apple Watch and write down the two workouts that I did on the 30th and the 31st. I think I did a run on the 31st and I think I might have done a cycle on the 30th, but I'll fill that in. I have the information. I just have to look at it in my fitness app. Then the December calendar, I have a little mix between kind of a word or a phrase um, and some pictures. So um, I've got that in there. And then the weeklies, this is the first one, yes it is. Um, so I did add in some stickers for the first week and the second week, I am still blocking out my work hours and writing in the number of hours per day. Um, I added a few stickers on this day. Um, and then here is this current week. And then let's flip through my dailies. So if you watch my currently inked videos, um, these are the pen and ink combinations for the month of January. And then these are my journaling pages. I will often put the pen that I used up here so I can cross-reference with the ink uh, and um, I also started doing an accent color uh, last year. I'm carrying it over so far into this year, just so that um, there may be things that kind of pop out um, that uh, will bring back memories. I like the new pen, who dis? I got a Lamy 2000, which is not a pen that I thought I would get. Um, maybe seven, eight years ago when I really started my fountain pen journey, I did a, watched a lot of videos between the, the Lamy 2000 and the Pilot Vanishing Point, and I felt that the Vanishing Point was the better choice. Uh, so I never really saw myself getting a Lamy 2000, but I actually really like it. Um, but I do think I made the right choice at the time. Um, occasionally I add in a picture. Um, so just really quick on this picture, let me see if I can bring it up a little bit closer. Uh, so for Christmas from some of our friends, I got a t-shirt that says my pen is bigger than yours. Um, and apologies if that is offensive, but um, that is in line with my kind of subtle sense of humor. So I really like that. I just, going back to it, the, the only thing I wish is it has a ballpoint pen. Um, I wish it was a fountain pen, but anyway, I guess uh, someone will need to create that. This one I ended up labeling. So as I was writing this journaling page, the Lamy 2000 is inked up with Van Diemen's Tiger Snake, and I use Inaho for the accent, and it was so close of a match that I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and label this so that when I look back at it, I know that the, this is actually two different inks. Now, one thing I did notice, um, let's see if I can get a really nice example. I guess kind of, yeah. 
So this is the Tonal and Limbs Trust You, and it was very light at the beginning of the month, and then it absolutely darkened up as the month went on. Is there a journaling page in that color? Yes. You can even see it there. This is darker than this. And um, and I noticed it got darker and a little bit brighter as the month went on, and I, you know, likely because of evaporation. And it... Um, the other the other piece and you can see it here at the top as you go it starts at really dark and then it gets uh lighter is because i was doing the accent lettering um it, it may be more saturated than in a kind of free writing session um i'm not a scientist i can't really explain it more than that but even here you can see it's dark dark and then it gets to light. I also noticed it with the Waringal Shock, which was inked up in a Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0. This is the same ink. It looks very different, but it is the same. It just was 10 days apart sitting in a pen. Um, so I also thought that that was really interesting. And then the last day of January is my son's birthday. Um, and that is a very short and sweet flip through of the month of January in my Hobonichi home. I hope that you have a wonderfully productive day and that you had an amazing January. Bye.